Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we are going to look at the Quinn Digital Torque Wrench from Harbor Freight. We are going to go in the advanced settings, measure some torque, save those measurements, review them later, as well as measure angles with this Harbor Freight Quinn Digital Torque Wrench. If that's something that interests you and you wanna check it out, just remember that when you hit this power button, make sure your torque wrench is laying on a flat surface or in the case as it zeroes itself out when you turn it on. That way your measurements can be as accurate as possible. So if that sounds interesting, let's go check out how this torque wrench works. So now that we're all zeroed out, we can go ahead and navigate whenever we want through all of the different options. So we can navigate through some of the memory settings here, and you're allowed nine memory settings. On each memory setting, you're also allowed to not only save your foot-pounds, you can do your kilograms, you can do your degrees for your angles, as well as your newton meters and your inch-pounds. So for instance, if you were going to torque a head bolt, some head bolts are often 45 foot-pounds, and then you go to 65 foot-pounds, and then you go to a quarter turn. So here you can see we're at 90 degrees for that quarter turn. So now you'd be ready to go if you were going to be doing some head bolts, and that was two memories and changing of the function. So now that we have our 25 foot-pounds in there, let's go ahead and put a socket on this. Go ahead and do some torque measurements here. So now we'll go ahead and hit that memory button. Now that saved it. It's in position 37. So we'll go ahead and do this one more time. Hit that memory button. That saved it in position 38. So now let's go ahead and review those. So now that we save those, so if we clear those out, how do we go ahead and look at those? So we can't hit our memory because that's just gonna cycle us through the other buttons. So in order to go recall what our saved values were, we press and hold the FN, we press it again and again, and here you can see there is value 38, press down, and there's value 37. So that's how you review those memory saved torque readings. So we could clear them out if we want, and now it's zeroed back out, and now we're ready to go. So let's take a look at torque angles here. So this means if we are on 45 foot-pounds, your torque angles kick in when you are about 5% away from that maximum torque. So if we were to go ahead and leave it at 45 foot-pounds, we can then go ahead and change this to our angle, and we're going to just do a 90 degree on this. We probably should have gone the other way. But we want you to see that if you press and hold, it does speed up a little bit here. So we'll go ahead and put that at 90, and now we should be able to measure our angle. So now we're gonna go ahead and measure this torque angle. So it kicks in once we've reached that 45 foot-pounds. Getting closer. And we hit our 90 degree. So we let off, and now let's take a look at it. And you can see that we went 90 degrees, just like it says. And it also records our max torque during that pull. So we'll go ahead and save that in 39. And now we should be able to start over again. If we're not, it'll tell us. And just by hitting the memory, or you could hit the power button to clear that out, If 
take a look at that torque wrench you can see that we are pretty much 180 that measured in at 90 degrees so we're going to go ahead and save that so we went ahead and saved that and that's in position 40 and let's go ahead and recall those values so hitting the power button clears that out now if we want to recall what our old settings were we wait for this to finish zeroing out now this is having issues because we are not laying flat and that's something that I would expect it's hard to get angle measurements so we're going to go ahead and pull the socket off twist that around a little bit more to confuse it and then once we are laying perfectly flat it will hopefully recover so here this is a big caution do not move this torque wrench when you are calibrating for the angle measurement so we moved it we had a problem we did this on purpose it says press the power on button to reset it but before i could get to it it started flashing an er4 which means you're going to have to take the batteries out and you're going to have to put them in and that is the only way to fix it i did try to reset it again it did not work so we're going to have to go ahead and take those batteries out just like it says to do all right so to remove the batteries We're going to not actually remove all of them. That should be enough to change the connectivity between those. Go ahead and place the batteries back in there. And now we should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and see if we can review those last couple measurements. We'll press and hold the FN button. And we'll cycle through to our settings. Now you can see the 90 degree will go down. That was 90 degree as well. And so it just saved the angle because that's what we were on. And there's nothing beyond that. And if we wanted to clear those out, we would go ahead and press the FN button. And since there are values in there, we can go ahead and press and hold I believe it is the power button and it says no well we do want to clear it so we'll press and hold and now they are cleared so we'll go through the FN button zeroing out and it's ready to go so if we press and hold we can go back through those menu options and you can see where it says none that's where the saved values would have been Nothing to clear and we are all completely done so one thing that we definitely learned is that you want your torque wrench to be laying flat and you want it to be level so if we go ahead and we clear this I'm gonna kind of move this and see if it has issues and it does not like any movement during calibration and zeroing so please ensure that this is laying flat on a flat surface you can see it does not like that movement But as soon as it's laying flat and not moving, it doesn't have an issue. So we kind of went through some of the troubleshooting that you can see. Figured out how to take the batteries out. We did measuring angles, measuring torque, saved measurement review, as well as the clearing of the saved values. We didn't talk about the peak and the tracking, so we'll, we'll cover that real quick. So the, we are in memory one, but if we want to do tracking versus peak, so here you can see we are on peak. If you want to do tracking, you go ahead and change it to tracking. I like peak personally, so we'll go ahead and just leave it on there and we'll cycle through the rest of the menus. And there we go. So guys, that should hopefully help you get all the information you need to operate the Quinn Digital Torque Wrench properly. So my final thoughts on this Quinn Digital Torque Wrench from Harbor Freight is, well, it's pretty darn accurate. 
It comes in at a very decent price point at $169.99 and you're still able to use a 20 or even 25% discount on it. Now if this digital torque wrench isn't something for you, it does only have a 90 day warranty, I would recommend checking out the Icon line from Harbor Freight where that is a very nice half inch torque wrench. It goes up to 250 foot pounds and comes in at around $100. So make sure you're choosing the right tool for the right job. And as always, work smarter, not harder, and we'll catch you in the next video.